Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gillen's Garage. Uh, today I'm going over the uh, front control arms that I had to modify uh, with the, uh, the custom mounts I made for the uh, 05 and newer axle swap in the 1990 van. So I wanted to go over that and kind of give you some details, uh, what to look for, things to help you if you're uh, in the midst of this swap. So thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. All right, so here we are. We have uh, three different radius arms. Uh, you'll notice the uh, top one, the black one. It is uh, what came off the 2013. Now, I'm going to zoom in here on this one just to kind of show you a little bit of difference. You can see right here there's a bit of an inlay that, that's stamped into this uh, radius arm and the retainer nut, this would be the top driver's side. So this would be the driver's side top uh, control arm. Now, when I saw this with this stamping and I wanted to reinforce it, I thought that was a, a little bit more difficult. And actually I talked to a guy uh, through Facebook that had made a modification to these and he had found that the older ones, so here's an older one, and I actually think this came off of uh, an 07 truck, but, you know, 05 to 07 or what these came off of. Now, if you look on this one, it's flat. And if I show you the edge, and you'll just have to take my word for it, uh, these are slightly uh, uh, heavier stamping. I'm talking like a hundred thousands or something. Uh, difference between this one and this one, but they are in fact heavier. So, as you can see, I have one completely completed and then one that I showed you that I'm, I'm working on. And what I had to do is I had to re-drill um, the, uh, the lower hole because my, uh, my caster angle is uh, different because my radius arm is tilted up uh, different than factory. So. I had to move uh, the center line of this forward. Uh, if memory serves on my particular application, yours could be different, but mine was 690 thousandths. I had to move it forward. So again, here's a completed driver's side one. And um, this, uh, I wanted to plate the entire thing to tie the strength in, kind of put a fish mouth so I don't have a, a perfectly straight weld, put a little bit of a fish mouth on that for uh, strength, uh, welded, that, uh, welded that nut in as well, and uh, welded around the edge the whole way around here and extended this. Now you can kind of see that on the lower. I extended it, welded it in just to build that strength out around that, and welded that uh, existing hole in to uh, strengthen things back up. But before I bolted this in to, to permanently check it, I thought I would show you the, uh, the different uh, ones. Like I say, I don't know what year they went to the newer stamped, uh, the newer stamping with those inlays. Um, I think it's easier to use this uh, to make this. And I have a piece, and I'll cut away and come back. All right, so I found that piece. And I have seen some guys just uh, drop this piece on here and just weld that lower. But, you know, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So I thought, why not just plate that whole piece inside and out versus just having that weld around here and there. Uh, would it have worked? Huh. Most likely. Uh, probably don't see any reason why not. But... Yeah, uh, I kind of like the look of that a little bit better. All right, here here is the completed uh, control arm on the mount and attached to the axle. Uh, you can see the custom mount that I built there, and I got the bolts all in. Now, I did not tighten the top bolt. Didn't figure it was really necessary to illustrate this, but all the alignment is there, and this one's done. Now, I will show you a, uh, a shot of the... Uh, caster angle once I set the body down onto the chassis. 
All right, so here you can see the caster angle uh, with the van back on the uh, chassis or the body back on the chassis. And I got it set at four and a half degrees. Now, when I hung a little bit of weight simulating the uh, grill and the bumper and the uh, uh, core support and the radiator and fluids and whatnot, I, uh, I had it at about four and a quarter or 4.3 which is still uh, a, a good caster angle to have to uh, eliminate that death wall. All right, well, I hope you guys like this episode. Um, I just wanted to mention something as well. While doing this, I have found that uh, my local Ford dealership has been a resource, a valuable resource for me uh, to, to look up different uh, parts factory parts, part numbers, things that I can cross-reference, things that I can make work on this project. Plus, they can uh, uh, print out uh, different exploded views of things. And so if you build a, a good, strong relationship with your local parts guy at the uh, local dealership, he'll be able to help you out. So uh, actually, my local dealership there is uh, Joel Confer Ford there in Belfont. And so I got to give a shout out to those guys. Uh, they're enjoying what I'm doing and uh, they're always helpful when, uh, when the time comes. So if you guys like what you see, please like and subscribe. And thanks for tuning in.